advisory, which is sort of your one-stop shop for everything a startup could ever need. And I wish they existed uh, a couple of years ago um, for my sake, and they're, they're, I'm pretty excited to hear from these guys. And thanks again for, for braving the storm, and yeah, no refunds if your umbrella breaks. Okay. I was certain it's gonna be not going to rain, so hopefully my Jetta power will have some opportunity to actually make that happen, because I do not have an umbrella. So we'll see what happens. Um, talking about umbrella, I think you know we have we have we have a world where we can buy pretty much anything with a barcode. Umbrella don't usually have barcodes. Some do, the expensive ones, not the one you buy on the streets. But it's incredibly difficult to buy things that are services, right? Now, if it is commoditized services like car sharing or something like that, you can do that. But for professional services, which is something that we decided to focus on, we felt like that it's really really difficult. One of the reasons is because it's super boring, right? Who needs professional services? Lawyers, accountants, HR people, that's just people gonna, you know, you put you to sleep. But then when we talk to startups, uh, you know, when we do a networking event like this one, and we realize how many of them actually need lawyers and accountants and startup uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the getting started phase so that they can become a real company. So we did some thinking and say, okay, what are all the things a startup may possibly need? Accounting business, design human resource, legal marketing technology. Within these categories in marketing, there may be other things like SEO and SEM. And there's certainly a lot of people who uh, volunteer their time to incubators to help people with event marketing, SEO, and sales, and stuff like that. But the idea here is that, take the incubator out for a second. If there are people who want to provide services to startup, sometimes it's for a fee, because like, pay me now, I wanna do that. Sometimes because it's fun. If you work at a law firm and you have a small practice, you may want to work with a startup and listen to what they have to do. And sometimes it's because you want to be either partners, you want to learn more about the startup process. There's just enough incentive, otherwise people won't be showing up to incubators and actually offering the help. Well, let's sidestep that. Why do you have to give away 6% of your equity just to get access to a bunch of people who are smart? Why don't we bring them together on a matching platform uh, which we call advisory, and to make it even easier, so it's not just searching people LinkedIn profile, even, do it, even though we connect with that, we realize that people are talking past each other. So the language that people who are experts and feel like HR uses, and the language when you're the first time CEO trying to understand HR is that you don't actually know what's going on. You don't know what keyword to search. You don't know who's good and who's bad. So we decided to build essentially a service catalog a catalog of all the things we believe is necessary. Now we can crowdsource that, so if you come here and you say, oh, you're missing something really important, you can suggest a service. And we curate that as, a, as an editorial thing. We're essentially trying to not build Amazon, but build an Amazon product page for every type of services that a startup would need. Now, obviously this will expand beyond that, and I'll let Kyle talk a little bit about how we bring people together and what the function is gonna be, but we're gonna start up with a fairly finite of things that in the first year or two, a startup would need, and say, let's go to you know, Brooklyn, New Jersey, and New York, we're focusing on this area, get people who otherwise would come, hey, I have a law firm, go contact me, or I can do PR, go contact me, and get them into one platform without the incubator, without any equity, and make it available. Uh, we're not charging this service yet, uh, but I think this is something that if we can create a marketplace for professional services, if, if you engage a lawyer, instead of writing a statement of work, they can just select these tiles and say, I'll do this for you, but not that one, so you're already incorporated using you know, uh, you know, legal Zoom, good for you, but your founder's agreement, I'll do that for you. And once we collect some data about how much those cost, how long it takes, what type of people, how they do it differently, I think that would be a very valuable resources for you to use that data that we collect and be able to inform what are the more popular things, what a startup like you need, and go from there. So that's the basic idea of what we do. Huh? So how do we get advisors? Who are these people that are coming with the uh, These are people that in their everyday life, you know, they help companies grow, um, whether it's in legal or You know, these are people who we feel can offer good advice. These are people that, when starting advisory, we went to and asked for advice from, right? And uh, when we were going through that process, uh, we uh, we really looked back and saw that this process is very valuable for every single startup that starts, right? Every single startup needs to do this groundwork before 
they really know if they can survive in this market, right? And so uh, when we first uh, conceived advisory, we did so as um, as a profile page, right? Where you come because you want advice from Marcus Dahl, right? That didn't work. You know, no one's gonna know who Marcus Dahl is. But Marcus Dahl serves a very significant purpose in helping people scale uh, on the mobile platform, right? And everyone knows that they need a service, they just don't know that Marcus Dahl provides that service, right? So what we've done is we put the service here for you. You can search the service and get to Marcus Dahl, who can help you scale on a mobile platform. Yeah, and we have a routing engine, so you basically, as an advisor, will pick up to 10. We can, if you earn more points, you can pick more of these services that you want your name listed in. And anybody who contact you, that particular service and say, oh, I want to get advice on someone who can do a partnership shareholder agreement, uh, this is a new database, so we have to do that. And you click, I'm interested. We would essentially collect the information and send it to not only the people who have explicitly said that I'm signing up for that, but we also have uh, are starting to build a text search matching engine that look at the keywords that what people use in the LinkedIn profile, in the endorsement you've gotten from people from LinkedIn, and say, oh, these words matches up to what it is. We'll send them an email and see if they're interested in replying. So essentially, we are very email-driven workflow behind this, but there's some appetizing up front to get rid of that kind of awkward silence in the beginning when you're trying to get people to talk to you. And you know, I think what this is doing, is it's really fostering growth in the startup industry in New York City, right? We're not charging you. All we want you to do is come here, look for the advice that you need anyways, right? And try to let one of the people who we believe is a valuable resource help you out. Yeah, it's, it's basically that simple. And as a, as a starting point, we created something called the Advisory Guide for la Launching a Startup. These are distill from the advice we have personally gotten from advisors about you know, how to hone your idea, find a metaphor, design your prototype, structure your company, all the kind of like lock down the company structure, what does that mean? So this is not really the service tiles, these are just kind of overall guide. And we have a copy of this printed, uh, um, so you guys can pick up a copy, we brought some, that basically talks about all these six phases. Uh, we didn't include fundraising because there are many, many pe people's opinion of how to do that. But for anything up to that point, excluding fundraising, we try to capture things that people typically will forget. What happens about you know, locking down Twitter handles? How do you do that? How do you, how do you think about naming your company? So um, you can pick up a copy of that, and it's also avail available right on the guide section on that. And our ambition is obviously to start with a startup. It's very high bar. If we succeed there, we'll go to small biz, and we'll ex expand internationally and try to really be our Amazon for services. Uh, as this catalog grows. Uh, but I don't think we'll be successful unless we're successfully helping the startup around New York City to kind of bypass the incubator to get to the real people, whether they're strategic people or just necessary people to get you a good real estate, get a good price. And, and that's what we do. Questions, comments? I'm an idiot. Yes? How do you get a response from people who are using your service? So, yeah, we, and I think the data will come once the system is in play. We built a version one on the website, people are using it, it's, but it's more like a tool to conduct your consulting, and that wasn't what people were looking for. They're looking for a tool to match make, to find that connection. This is a new platform, we don't have the data yet. When we do, I think it will be very interesting to be able to service that to some of the people providing the service, and obviously service the people looking for that service. You could have a subscription-based model or pay by the drink, and you could offer rewards for the people who are providing the, uh, the uh, information. Sure. Uh, do, uh, go ahead. Um, Kyle, Kyle, can you repeat the question? Just one last time. Yeah, yeah. So he's talking about um, uh, our, our whole money-making scheme here and where we would like to go with it. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the answer. Um, we started off in our first version uh, charging a 10% cut the final bill, right? Uh, that didn't work at all, at all, at all. Um, So uh, we're gonna play this by ear. You know, to be honest, we have a goal here to make money, like everyone else in this room. Uh, however, you know, first things first is to get some traction and get people moving. And we have discussed definitely a licensing 
type of model. We've talked about lead generation type of model. We've talked about charging the user. So there's and just list is charging the user for premium advice. Uh, one model we'll probably end up doing is a little bit of a membership model for premium service for the advisors. So we might do the 1099 for them. We'll collect, maybe partner with uh, you know billing systems and give them that kind of in a box tool. But I think it's you know with marketplaces, you know everybody wants to build one, but it's actually really get hard to get started if your future business model get in in the way of your current engagement, uh, that would be a tragic, tragic, tragic loss. So we're basically waiting for that, and uh, uh, we are backed by a company that has a fairly <laughs> large uh, human resource potential, uh, and so uh, my, my technical co-founder runs a consulting company, so he knows this, and he's putting a big team uh, on that, uh, working on that as an equity uh, exchange with us. So we, we have runway to wait until uh, we build enough features so we can justify the premium to say, okay, this is more than just the basics. You can now, you know, we can charge a fee on one of the two sides. Any other questions? On the back? So, um, so I work for a, um, a company that builds web applications. So what's my incentive to be an advisor on your site? Yeah. And how do I know that, so what we do is specific, like hypothetically, but also in the real world, um, specifically big data, right? Yeah. So we, we just want to be batched with entrepreneurs who are interested in building big data types. Yeah. So how do we, how does this um, uh, solution here match entrepreneurs with consultants such as myself? Yes. So, I mean, uh, first, uh, I mean, we, we're not charging a fee and we're offering you free leads, right? So, I mean, that should be incentive enough as a businessman to hop on, right? I mean, we're obviously giving you free leads for people that might want to work. Um, but more specifically, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, mean, Chris, I, don't know. I, think, I think one of the things is that the people don't look for big data. So if I'm a startup and I need big data, I may have heard of it, but like you don't type big data. It's not a search term that comes to your mind. It's like, I have all these data, I collect from a survey, I've collected all these data from my log, what can I do with them? So the idea here is that uh, either by registering your company and services to, the, um, to, the, to a tile that says, you know, analyze the activity data you've gotten since your site launched, and I can help you with that, and that would be your foot in the door to explain to someone who have some small data, and then say, hey, as this data get bigger, or if you have some big data, this is what I can do for you. So you can start that conversation with something that people are already looking for. It's like SCM, right? Don't advertise what you do, advertise what people are searching for. And a lot of times I think I've, I've seen is that people are talking past each other, where consultants don't really know what they do, what the value is, and so, we are hope, hopefully giving you a platform not just for lead gen, and I think that's the goal and that's what the value is, but by providing this intermediate, almost like a content marketing way, where you can attach the language you, we are using to describe certain aspects of what a business need, so that the technical language that would be an important depth for you to provide once you begin the engagement doesn't get in the way for that, oh, I need that. Um, that's why I say, what, is, what, what, what can we help with you today? And what they're looking for, Maybe something related to Excel has nothing to do with big data, but it may be a big data lurking underneath that. Hi. Uh, what mechanisms are you using to uh, qualify the advisor? So when you apply, I don't know if I'm going to do this right now, but when you apply, you are asked to link uh, up to four social networks, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. Um, and obviously, we might add to that, LinkedIn being the most important one, Twitter allow us to de-spam you, so we know that you have enough follower that you probably have some history in there. And that's what we use as a human process to go and review what you've posted, what you've linked to, who you know, and then we can, you know, we try to approve no more than 60% of people apply. Uh, so far, the, the thing is pretty good, because if you're offshore, this is not where all the leads are. You go to Elance or Odess or something like that. Um, so we're not trying to get people offshore to compete on price, because when it comes to lawyer to start, start your, write your founder's agreement, the cheapest one is definitely the best, right? Uh, 
It's not. It's the one that understands you and can help you. So uh, we do use social network to qualify, but we will interview. Uh, we haven't done that yet, but we, we have interviewed people and asked them. And actually, those interviews are actually helpful, not only to vet the person, but to help us improve the guide. Then we'll get the advice and what they're looking at and try to enrich the basic catalog. Hopefully, the catalog becomes the evergreen content that becomes valuable onto self. And like content-based marketing people are pushing for, that becomes the reason why people will find us on Google and then that allows us to c capture a leak and spread it to the network. Yeah. And what's beautiful about the internet today is that you know, there is so much information about you on the internet that we really can't do some in-depth like, you know, search of your history, your work history, you know, if you really are a lawyer, like you're a lawyer, right? Like we can do that online today, which is makes our job easier in that sense. Okay, great. Thank you very much.